The consequences of collisions at the Large Hadron Collider was studied by the LHC Safety Study Group. The LHC reproduces in the laboratory, under controlled conditions, collisions at center of mass energies less than those reached in the atmosphere by some of the cosmic rays that have been bombarding the Earth for billions of years. We recall the rates for the collisions of cosmic rays with astronomical bodies at energies higher than the LHC. The stability of astronomical bodies indicates that such collisions cannot be dangerous. Incorrect analogy. They compare two completely different types of conditions, the first. Natural cosmic rays in the atmosphere. The second. Collisions inside the artificial device, under the surface of the Earth. Cosmic rays are balanced in such a way that probability of artificial anomaly is almost zero. In other words, cosmic rays represent natural conditions that existed during billions of years, and therefore they're safe. Collisions inside the LHC can't be compared with natural cosmic rays. Large Hadron Collider is an artificial device created by man. There's no similar devices in the sky or on astronomical bodies. So, we have no sufficient basis for correct analogy to tell whether the experiment is dangerous or not. Collisions inside the artificial device under the surface of the Earth may be unbalanced. Probability of anomaly inside the LHC may be very high. And scientists do not know how such possible anomaly can be predicted or neutralized. Scientists have no enough knowledge to recreate all spectrum of complex interactions, exact or even similar conditions of naturally balanced cosmic rays, in order to achieve necessary level of stability to sufficiently decrease probability of big catastrophe in the center of Western Europe. The study for the previous RHIC collider had concluded that no black holes will be created. For the LHC the conclusion is very different. Black holes could be created. Any microscopic black holes produced at the LHC are expected to decay by Hawking radiation before they reach the detector walls. Incorrect expectation. Hawking radiation is only abstract invention of Hawking's mind. Quantum theory is abstract dogma. We need of a far larger study before the experiment. The CERN study presents risk as a choice between a 100% or a 0% risk. This is not a good evaluation of a risk percentage. It would be wise to consider that the more powerful the accelerator will be, the more unpredicted and dangerous the events that may occur. Independent scientists estimate an overall risk between 11% and 25%. The precautionary principle indicates not to experiment. Save the planet. Stop the LHC.